Good morning everyone. So I'm getting ready to go to work. It, it's extremely hot. I know everyone around the world experiences the same higher temperature than usual. But here it's really hot. Like yesterday it was like about 45 degrees and I can't sleep these days. <laughs> I'm trying to buy air conditioner but until I am ready and um, having my air conditioner now I have a fan just right here so if you hear any noise I have my mic with this fluffy kind of a fairy cover I hope it will help to um, reduce the airflow um, on the mic but yeah I need some air because it's extremely hot and as you can see my hair is wet like I spend all my all, all the day now for like maybe a week I guess like with wet hair all the time so I was thinking um, from a while like I want to go out to go to work or buy stuff or do anything but in the same time I can't style my hair when I style my hair it just lasts for only one day maybe half a day because it's so hot and I sweat like a big like you have no idea Ex especially my scalp sweat like crazy um, so it destroy everything, destroy all the heat that I apply to my hair and the humidity helped to make my hair even more crazy and just going everywhere so I was thinking okay I want to style my hair in some way that looks beautiful and in the same time I, I'm, I'm not gonna apply a lot of heat on my hair especially in these times because that will mean I'm gonna apply heat like regularly every single day on my hair and I don't want to do that because I want to grow my hair and I don't want to like um, exhaust it so that's what I came up with I'm gonna show you what I'm doing every day now to style my hair and to do everything in my simple makeup too because it's the hot and we just stain our skin like barely so applying some makeup or anything like usual like the either concealer the powder the blush all these baby stuff that I always do every single day I can't stand anymore I can't so okay I'm gonna show you my everyday morning routine now in this hot weather maybe it will help but before we start I need to take a sip of my coffee here because I'm late I need to get ready and go to work uh, before it's getting so hot okay so um, what are we talking about yeah in this time of the year when it's really hot and you need to look glow and look beautiful without applying any makeup you need to take a good care of your skin first don't now if you are focusing on makeup more than skincare in normal days these are the days that you need to focus on your skincare more than your makeup because you need to look beautiful as much as you as you can so you need your skin to look glowy and beautiful healthy um, as much as you can so when you apply just a little bit of like a small touches of like uh, cheek tint, lip tint, or lip balm and a little bit of mascara it adds some good um, glow and color to your face and at the same time it's not too heavy on your face so you feel like you're having like a complete mask even with like uh, concealer and like a some concealer and some powder and some eyeshadow in this kind of weather I feel like I having a full mask on like makeup on my face and you can't stand it and I just want to remove it because like it's really hot so that's it the tip you need to take it to, 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 you need to take good care of your skin these days more than anything else so um, like regularly I don't do a lot of uh, skin routine but I need to because when I do that I feel like uh, a complete different in my skin so my skin now I have nothing on it just completely like I wash it with my uh, Neutrogena uh, face mask I guess it's a face mask and a wash um, like a cleanser in the same time when you take a, just a little bit of it and with some water just like make a very nice like, kind of a sweet pasty thing and you wash your face with it's really refreshing and really love it I'm using it for like a couple of weeks now and I really feel my skin is like more healthy and more nice um, so this is the like um, the primary view of it 
<clears throat> and I do a face uh, scrub. There's a gentle one and there's a harsh one. I use it every couple of days, not every day, just to remove any dead skin and um, anything. Because um, the last couple of weeks before I started the skincare, I began to feel this a little like, uh, you know, under skin pimple here. Not pimple, but you know, the feeling of pimple, but it's not pimple, but it's under your skin. It was a lot in this area and I don't know why. Uh, maybe because of the weather change or anything or hormonal change, I don't know. But I was like, I have in this part it was so much, but now it's way less. And uh, like just a little bit here, but here I don't feel anything, which is good. So what I'm gonna do now because I'm like dying here. And pray for me, I buy my air conditioner soon because the sun is hitting my walls all day long, and it's so hot like it's sharp hot and um at evening when the sun goes down still feel the heat from the walls so yeah i need an air conditioner in this apartment but i love it still love it i don't i don't hate it it's just like the energy of this apartment is so good and that's that's a good thing for me because the last apartment that i was in it was like a bigger than this one but the energy of it and the energy of the surrounding neighbors it wasn't that good i was like uh <sighs> fighting like uh, doubling my energy um, to be in a positive and a good energy I was like feeling like I'm, I'm doing so much work to be in that but it was so much for me and I had some like uh, psychological issues from the apartment trying to fix it but I love this apartment it's, it's good it's good I really love it so let's go so i'm gonna like finish this i'm coming back coming back okay you don't need to see me watching like drinking list so i'm coming back okay guys let's do it um really late so the first thing i'm gonna apply this serum just a few small drops not too much just a little bit to add some glow to my skin just a small drop here and here and just here and that's that's enough that's enough i don't need more than that in this wither just just adding glow to my face without adding too much product okay I don't apply um, like any face cream in this weather because I can't stand it so this um, serum is like more than enough for me because I have a combination of skin it tends to be more oily in this time of the year in this hot weather it tends to be more oily so um, when I need to go out, I don't want to wash my face outside, so I need to reduce the amount of the product that I apply. So this serum really does a really good job to make me feel my skin is glowy and not like tight after washing it. And feel like hydrated and moisturized and beautiful. Okay, so the next thing, I'm going to apply this lip tint. It's from Shein. It's really beautiful. I really love it. The color is still amazing. So I'm going to apply some of it with this brush okay just a bit not too much i know i look weird with my hair up like this in a t-shirt and i'm using a t-shirt to dry my hair okay um because it's 100 percent cotton so it's very gentle on your hair shaft and while it's wet because um when your hair is wet it's in the weakest like position of your hair so don't use a towel the towel is 100% cotton but it's kind of harsh on your hair so using 100% cotton t-shirt way way gentler and does the job so it is an old t-shirt I use like always okay so a little bit of my nose okay the camera looks a little bit lighter than real life okay it's darker than that I promise but just apply the amount of color that I need and this one is really gentle it's not greasy at all it feels so soft really soft okay sometimes I just take a little bit of it and add it to my lips okay as you can see and it's, it's really, really nice. Really nice. It's not greasy at all. Which is what I love about it. Alright. So, this is the second thing. Okay. 
next I'm gonna go, go with some um, highlighter in its um, cream one just a little bit I'm gonna apply just small dots here small dots here small dots on my table on my nose just a little bit here not too much okay and a little bit on my eyelid um, sometimes I forget to tell you whoa <laughs> okay here we go okay sometimes with the leftover on my brush basically um, I just take it to my eyelid like this so add a little bit of color not too much okay I don't add anything with the leftover only okay and then I'm gonna take my oh, this in a light to my eyelid like this you can use um, both the shadow but this is enough for me okay and with this one just begin to blend that okay sometimes using my fingers too just like you okay just a bit take it to the shaft okay you can use your finger if you want to and here we go okay that really helps to widen up my eyes and make it feel like awake because when I wake up in the morning especially without a good night sleep I feel like my eyes just so close and it's already small so I don't need it to be more smaller than it already is so and now it's the okay now I'm not gonna do anything to my eyebrows I'm gonna leave it as it is because I'm not applying like uh, applying barely any makeup so I'm not gonna make my eyebrow dramatic it's in a good shape it's not like um, completely gone still have a shape so I'm using what I have of course you can apply some butter or some um, like a brow gel brow made if you have more gaps than this but for me um, when I'm applying this minimum makeup I just do nothing just comp it and leave it Especially when I'm trimming it, so it's in place, it will not go anywhere. So it looks like it's groomed up beautiful, and that's it. Of course, my face looks like uh, dull because my eyelashes, it's long, but you barely see it because, you know, it's light on the ends. So you can see. So what I'm doing, just a little bit of touch of mascara. So I'm going to use this one, just not too much, just to blacken my eyelashes. I'm not applying any mascara we barely as you can see just color my eyelashes to make it black if i have any tint and do it like uh, for the you know this for eyebrow lifting and this stuff i'm just coloring okay i'm gonna come back later but can you see the difference i didn't apply anything just add color and this is my lashes this is my normal lashes and just add a little bit to my lower lash okay just a bit as you can see completely different and now you can feel that you have something on your face So I have a difference in my eyelashes length. This one is longer than this one. So I'm trying to make it identical. So that's why I'm adding a little bit more on this one. Okay, and lower lashes. Okay, that's it. That's it. Almost finished. And after I finish my hair, I'm gonna apply my lip color after I change my clothes. So now I'm gonna wear my clothes and coming back to you to show you how I style my hair. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back. And this is my hair. It's wet, so just let it to like dry a bit on the t-shirt. And now what I'm doing, very nice, I'm gonna use um, this small comb and a brush 
and of course I'm gonna use some cream to help it just to set it in place. So I'm using Sun Silk Styling Cream is for the fine curl. Should be for a curly hair to make a fine curl, but really helps me to hold my hair in place without using a lot of hairspray and at the same time when my hair is completely dry it will not go anywhere like it will stay as it is looks beautiful and tamed and not frizzy because I have frizzy hair that's why I always use a keratin treatment to help my hair to reduce the frizziness not to make it like 100% sleek but more to make it more like uh, tamed and looks natural without having a lot of frizzy hair and my keratin treatment now begin to fade away a bit so I'm gonna use this cream to help everything looks beautiful and for the styling hair that I'm doing at the moment like it reminds me for how I was styling it when I was a little girl so I'm gonna use um, kind of a generous amount of this because it's like it's really nice actually I feel like it really hydrate my hair while doing this style so my hair is a bit wet not too wet but not too dry it's a dam like you know it's about 50 percent dam as you can see so there is no order to do it just take a nice amount you can see i have a nice amount and make sure i cover every single strand okay that's a lot here okay there's no order and when i wash my hair i feel like it's soft and beautiful so I really love this cream. I guess for if you have a curly hair that will be great. Okay, to make it stay in place. So here we go. And I'm gonna like put my hair on my t-shirt because I have don't have any towel hair anyway. So next I'm gonna just like do what? normal dividing here okay like this okay and then i'm gonna brush my hair this is um like a fresh brush brush it's for wet hit where well it's for wet hair too so it's not damaging my hair when it's wet so soft on the hair and as you can see really make everything like soft with no effort Okay, you can see it's really good. I really love this brush, and I'm using a wet brush as well. But I don't have a big brush, I have the one with the four bristles. I'm not gonna use it on my hair, of course. It can be used on my hair, but I'm not doing it. So, as you can see, hello. <clears throat> so, I have my poppy pins just right here. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do like a five strand. So what I'm doing now, just after combing my hair, what I'm gonna do is just this part. I'm gonna divide it into two, three section, sections from here to here. Okay, and this one will be only two in here. Okay, and let's begin. So what I usually do, make sure it's good. And just take my tail, my comb tail, just go up here, okay, and take it up, okay, so it's well divided, and then I'm gonna comb it upwards and a little bit backwards, okay, I'll just like move this around here a bit so we can stay, okay, I don't want this to dry, so, okay. And then what I'm doing is just like swirl like this. Okay, and then make sure the hair underneath is combed and sleek before I pop it in it to the back. Okay, yep, it's good. And then just take it. Okay. And with the poppy pen, I'm not gonna go like this, this way. I'm gonna go like this and then turn it around. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna open it. Never mind. And now what I'm gonna do is just go like this. Okay. Just going like this and take it and just go to the front. Don't go to the back. Go to the front and bend. And as you can see, 
and that nicely he doesn't go underneath the hair. So trying to hide it, peel it away, and here we go. So that will make it stay on all day long. It will not go anywhere. Hope you could see it. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, I'm gonna show you again before the go. So here I'm gonna divide it here. Okay, just take it. Too much, that's too much. Okay. Okay, here and upward. Again, comb all the way up and a little bit to the back. Begin to swirl like this. Sometimes get tangled, so I'm gonna make it sure it's like smooth and beautiful. And then take it to the back like this. And again, take my book pen, open it. And just go, yep, I hope you can see, and just go to like this, okay, on the other direction, see, it's hidden, you can see it, and stay in place, it will not go anywhere, I promise, until I come back, it will not move, that is like a life state, I, show, I saw it in a YouTube um, hair tutorial from a while, and when I tried it, it was just like, oh my god, I was doing my puppy pin wrong all that time. So, yeah, again, as you can see, I took it from here because I don't want to have any kind of fly out like the air flying here. And again, swirl, and as you can see, I'm just comb it as I go, make it smooth and beautiful. And then, the hair is good. And again, take another puppy pin. Okay, and do it again. Okay, and like this. You can see? You can see. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it feels a bit tight, so just like you move it around a bit. So not like like pull my hair a lot as you can see. So sleek. Okay, time to do this part. And this part I'm gonna do only two because you can see it doesn't like have a lot of space here. Because I'm not dividing my hair from the center. Okay, so again, it's not even, okay, okay, and just again, okay, make sure it's beautiful, I need a little bit of cream here because the air make it dry a bit, okay, and that will really helps to make it stick all day without adding any hairspray, that's the point, I don't want to Apply hairspray. Okay, I need to comb it again. Okay. And make sure underneath is nice. Okay. If you want to add a hairspray, it's up to you. But for me, I feel this really like more than enough. Okay. Just a little bit of like small tiny hair here. Like frying around. Yep. That looks a bit weird. Done every day. What I did wrong here. Okay, let me divide it again. Let me divide it again. I don't like how it looks. Okay, I will take it just like this. Okay, a little bit lower. Yep. And here we go. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, here we go. I have no idea, I'm sweating like a big now. I'm doing the same time. Okay, last one. Just take it from here up. This, and this really helps to make my hair like beautiful all day long. Okay. This is a small one, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Do this and again, let's go to the back, like from the back to the front, and stay in place. And that's it. Like, if you have a small, tiny little things you can add, but I don't, I really need to buy some. And what I'm doing now, like, after I finish that, I will just tie my hair to the back while I'm going to work. So, when I reach the office or the hospital, okay. So it will be completely dry 
and in the same time in the same place. So where is my hair tie? Okay. I'm gonna use this hair tie here and put my hair to the back in a small ponytail. Okay. So it's wet now. So until I reach the office it will be completely dry in this position and my hair will dry in this position. So when I reach just take off the um elastic tie or the hair tie and just um, brush it with my brush looks beautiful okay last step okay I can go like this or I can add a little bit of color okay I don't know apply this one or apply a little okay or apply just a little bit of okay I'm gonna take a little bit of this color but not too much apply to my lips yeah it's beautiful just do the center that's it okay and to finish this clean kind of look okay I'll just take a lip gloss okay As you can see, it looks clean, looks fresh, I feel like um, beautiful and like confident in my own skin because my own skin itself is beautiful. And that's the final look. And as I told you when I went back to work, like I go to work and move hair tie and it will look beautiful. So that's it. I really hope you like this video. I really hope you learn something or you enjoy watching it um, in this hot weather we pray for this to disappear try your best to like I don't know I don't know what we need to do as a human beings to help our planet I made a video about it yesterday and I don't know what we need to do to help all that to go away or reduce that I don't know but I guess I'm gonna do a meditation and again if you know any kind of meditation group that can help to increase the energetic um, frequency of the planet let me know i'd be so happy to do a group meditation i never did it before but um i really want to so if you know if you're into meditation like me and you know someone or some group let me know in the comment section down below i'll be so happy to join i love our planet and without without it we will not be here so and this physical form of course but yeah yeah anyway so um have a great day guys and um it's tuesday so i hope this day will be beautiful on everyone and every single living soul on this planet and i love you so much and i'm gonna see you soon in my next video love you bye